For question number eight, the correct option is option two. And through the steps of solution, let us first note down the different informations given in the question. There are three items. One is a copper ball. I shall number it as one. The mass of the ball, this is M1, is equal to 100 gram. Specific capacity of copper, I'm calling it C1, that's given 0 0.1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius. Temperature initially of the ball is called capital T. That is a question to find out how much is that. This is I'm taking to be T as given. We're taking data in CGS units. We should also solve the problem in CGS units as is common with problems on calorimetry. Next item is calorie meter. Let me call it, this is my first step I'm doing. Steps of solution. This is the first step taking down the data carefully with proper symbols. Item number two, the mass of calorie meter M2 that is also given to be 100 gram is made up of copper only. Specific capacity is C2 that is same as C1. This is 0 0.1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius and the temperature that is room temperature. I take it to be T2. Well, I might call this one as T1, that is T, which is unknown. Temperature calorimeter is T2, that is the room temperature, that is 30 degrees Celsius. And also one more item, that is water. This is item number three. And it's mass M3, that is given to be 100 70 gram specific capacity of water that is cc well known value 1.0 calorie per gram per degree celsius and the temperature that is t3 this is same as t2 the room temperature that is 30 degrees celsius in addition to this you also given the final temperature of the system let me call that tf that is 75 degrees Celsius, supposed to find out the initial temperature T of this copper ball. In step number two, we recall the principle of calorimetry, which says that in a heat exchange, provided there is no heat lost to the surroundings, heat lost by the hotter body is equal to the heat gained by the colder body or bodies. In this case, copper ball loses heat while calorimeter and water, both of them gain heat. So, I'll be calling this equation as equation number one for future reference and keeping an eye on this equation, you can write down heat lost by copper ball, first in symbolic form. The formula is of course, you remember, delta Q is equal to MC into delta T. In this formula, delta Q is the heat that is exchanged, M is the mass, C specific heat capacity, delta T is the change in temperature. So heat lost by copper ball, that will be in symbol, M1 into C1 into T minus Tf. Similarly, heat gained by calorie meter, that will be M2 into C2. Well, C2 is same as C1, remember, and temperature has increased from T2 to Tf. So, this is Tf minus T2. Similarly, heat gained by water, that will be M3 into C3 into Tf minus T2 or T3. You can write any of them. Let me write it here, T2 for the convenience calculation because water and calorimeter both at the same temperature initially. In my next step, keeping an eye on this equation number one, let us now fill up heat lost by copper ball that is M1 
into C1 into T minus Tf that equal to heat gain by calorimeter M2 into C2 into Tf minus T2 plus M3 into C3 into Tf minus T2 only, right? So you can write this as inside brackets M2C2 plus M3C3 into Tf minus T2. Putting data in the next step, consulting from here, we can write down, well, M1 is 100 gram, C1 is 0 0.1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius, capital T is unknown, minus Tf is 75 degree Celsius. Coming to right hand side, we shall pick this right hand side from here and that is giving me M2, that is 100 gram into C2, same as C1, that is 0 0.1 calorie per gram per degree Celsius plus M3, mass of water, 170 gram. Multiplied by C3, that is 1.0 calorie per gram per degree Celsius, square bracket closed, multiplied by Tf minus T2, Tf is 75 degree Celsius, minus T2 that is 30 degree Celsius, the simple calculation and my suggestion is, although I have written everything in detail with the proper units, when I will hurry, I have got time is very valuable, there is no point writing so elaborately, just put the numerical data, go for the calculation and show that eventually the value of T is coming out to be 885 degrees Celsius. I give this small job for you and once you get it, you realize that this is nothing but option number two and therefore our option, correct option, it chooses option two in this question.